Hello, Crixis is here and welcome everyone to this book video. I decided to share with you 10 books and hopefully you will find this inspiring or it can help to decide what you want to get in the future for your bookshelf. Before we start, grab yourself a cup of tea or coffee or any warm drink. I am having red bush with oat milk. It's just perfect. <laughs> And uh, yeah, like this video so it can reach more people. And now let's talk about books. Let's start with this book. So this is Colin's Bird's Guide. And uh, this is the book I literally flick through a couple of times a week. I have it super close and usually I don't even put it sometimes in the bookshelf. I just have it somewhere close to the sketchbooks because I'm working on the bird book and this is really useful for me to see what kind of options I have and how the color plumage looks for different birds. There's a lot of information about each book and the illustrations are not like too realistic but you can like really get the character of a bird. I also have used this book to identify different birds outside and I feel this is just a perfect reference picture book and something you can just go back to every single time you sketch birds. And yeah, this is this is my most looked through book. And I have like these note marks because I wanted to get back to some of the birds much quicker, especially for the bird book. And I really like the layout of this book that there is birds on one side and on the other side there is information about the bird like there are different positions for each bird and also some of them are depicted as male and female and then their babies how they look so it's really nice to have like overall view So the next book is Nests by Susan O'Gilly. This is such a beautiful book. I think I bought it because Natasha Newton suggested this in her channel. And I'm really happy I got it. And I really enjoy flicking through it. It's more information about different birds and how big the nests are. They're like in life size in this book. And also it's watercolor illustration but it's more like botanical they're realistic sketches and what i really enjoy is that it's listed like what kind of materials each bird use for nesting and uh, when do they lay eggs so it's really useful information especially for someone who loves watching birds i actually want to tell a quick story i um I use this book in a funny way. So you know that I have a lot of birds outside of the window and I'm observing them every single day. And one of the days there was Robin looking for nesting materials. And it was like literally taking like some moss and some leaves and some twigs. And I was like, wait, I know what to do. <laughs> so basically I opened this book and I looked through what kind of materials this bird is using and there was mentioned that there is horse hair and they use horse hair for the nesting like final layers and touches so I actually went into the stable because I live in a farm and house owner has two ponies and there is like brush to brush ponies so I picked it up and there was like a lot of horse hair so I put it outside and I came inside and immediately the robin started picking up the horse hair. 
So I was like <laughs> so happy. So actually this book helped me to um, kind of get the idea of what kind of bird is picking what kind of materials. And yeah, now the horse hair which I picked in this table, it's somewhere in the robin's nest. The next book is actually thrifted. I sometimes go on eBay or on Amazon and I look through different bird books and art books and reference books in general. And I found this Graves Gardens bird book. I really like the style. I like that it wasn't uh, like you, you couldn't really like... <laughs> It was realistic illustration, but it was like a little bit distorted. So for some birds, like the, the head was a li little bit bigger or like the the body was bigger or smaller. So it was like kind of caricature version of the birds. And I really like that there is also illustration on one side and text on other. And it's reoccurring theme, which I enjoy about these bird books. So the engravings for this book. They are from 8011 and 8013. So it's like 200 old illustrations. And they're really, really pretty. I like the compositions for them. I like the color palette. I like the overall feel of the illustrations. So yeah, it's just gorgeous book. And I think I got it for like two or three pounds, which was such a bargain. So yeah, these are the bird books. Okay, let's talk about picture books. So I have one video, which I will link it down below, which talks a little bit more about picture books specifically and which picture books I enjoy. But I couldn't include all of them and I decided to include two more in this tour. So one of the books I, I got in charity shop and it's called The Yellow Train. And it's a huge book. It's really hard to show, but like if you compare it to my hand and my hands are super big. I bought this book because of compositions. I really like the scale and how it's composed and if every illustration is really creative. It's it's kind of illustrative, but the results are realism inside and that is aspect I really enjoy. The colors are muted as usual. I love muted colors, but just the, the overall feel, like there is like this one huge illustration which is mostly like super dull muted and then there is tiny red train in the background. So this book was published in 2000 and the first edition was published in 1998. So it's been quite an old book. So the next book I want to chat about is this Korean book and it's called The Pool. It's really breathtaking book and I like that it has no words. I think this is what I really enjoy about it because you just need to rely on uh, artworks and if artworks are good then you can tell the story itself. And I also love the medium the artist used. It's colored pencils. And you can see the texture of the pencils. It is kind of realistic, but not really. It's more illustrative. I like the color palette as well. It's really subtle. There are maybe like 10 different colors overall for this book. And what is 
inside of the pool is colorful, but what is outside is black and white. So that is like really clever use of color. Let's talk about the next book. And the next book is actually a graphic novel. And this is a graphic novel about an artist. So that's why I picked it up. But I also really fell in love with the art style and artworks in this graphic novel. So this is Alison by Lizzie Stew Stewart. I'm going to read what it is all about just in a few words. So Alison is a newly married, barely 20 and struggling to find her place in the world. A chance encounter with an older artist upturns her life. Alison begins to find her own path through art, friendship and love. I think a year ago on Instagram I asked about inspiring graphic novels and this was suggested. It's actually not that old book. I think it came in 2023 or 22. It's really nice, refreshing story. And if you are a fan of graphic novels and graphic novels about artists, I think this is the book for you. The next book I want to chat about is Picture Bookmakers by Depictus. There are 12 different artist interviews, but what I enjoy about this book the most is also you can get a sneak peek into their sketchbooks and storyboards. And I realized I really enjoy looking through sketchbooks specifically from other artists. And when you have like physical copy of sketches, it's really fascinating to see so many different ways people sketch and uh, what kind of materials they use. And I also really enjoy that there is a little bit more of their life and what they're doing and what is the process of specific picture book they've worked on. So if you are a picture book artist or you want to publish picture books in the future, I think this is a great book to have and read through the interviews. The artists who are written here, they are well-established picture book artists. Yeah, it's really nice to have it all in one book and you can learn more about each of them. Let's chat about the colors. So because I'm working on the bird book, which is focusing on birds in color, and I want to explore different color options and uh, color palettes, I was really in the looks for new color books. And I came across the Secret Lives of Color book. And it's basically a little bit more history about different kind of pigments and paints. And... I found it really fascinating. So you can just go and there are kind of borders with colors. So you can see visually already what kind of color you want to read about. And then you can just, there are two, one to two pages of the specific color. So you can read the history. And if you are a color nerd like me, <laughs> you will find this fascinating. So truly recommend for everyone with a hint of color passion. <laughs> Let's talk about one more color book. So this is Plant Dye Zine by Rebecca Desnes. And this is self-published book, which was really fascinating to get it. I think she, she's selling them on Amazon. And she's actually plant dyer and she's dyeing clothes and yarns. But in this specific zine, she actually shares how you can make your own ink. 
and how you can paint with flower petals. And it's just really fascinating book for me. I sometimes just flick it for uh, visual information to just get inspired by the photography, by the color options. And I really want to use it in my own practice as well. I have made black walnut ink. I really want to make ink from pomegranate skins and avocado seeds. <laughs> and yeah, this is just really fascinating book for me. Truly enjoy it. The last book is my most recent purchase. I got it in last month. And it's actually connected with Harry Potter. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. And I really like the graphic design and prop design by M Mina Lima. And this is the book. It kind of shares a little bit more about how they created different props for the movies. And what I really enjoy is there's like a lot of inspiration, a lot of sketches, a lot of uh, behind the scenes of creative work. And it's kind of also like looking through the sketchbooks of other artists' work. There is like Marauders map and how it came to be and what was the sketch in the beginning. There is the Black Family tapestry bookmarks and book covers, which they designed. I really, truly enjoyed this book. It's just full of information, just like so many information fragments. And they also have like inspirations and where they got like ideas for specific things. Yeah, it's just really fascinating book for me. This book is published in 2022. So it's really new book as well. I bought this book from Amazon Warehouse and sometimes they have like some imperfections and that's why it's a little bit cheaper and the cover is a little bit bented but it doesn't mean that anything inside will be bad it's really good quality And these are the books. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you want to let me know that you stayed till the end, write in the comments down below picture books and uh, mention your favorite one. I'm really curious which one you enjoy the most and which one you want to get in your bookshelf. I'm so curious. And uh, thank you all of my lovely Patreons who are supporting me over there. I really appreciate all the support. And if you want to join Patreon community, I will link it down below. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye, everyone. <laughs> oh, by the way, did you notice something different for this video? Let me know. <laughs> okay, see you later.